<laughs> little, little brief background, Kaylee is very fearful She's of whales. She's whales. a little concerned that they have hearts the size of automobiles. And mm -hmm. tongues weigh more than an elephant, which I can't wrap my head around. <laughs> right here on live television, so I'll ask you, can you dance, sing, yodel, anything you can um, do that will impress us? I think it's hard. Pink hearts, yellow moons, <laughs> green clovers, blue diamonds. I know you want to hold I it. I do, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm actually a pretty decent shot. I won't brag. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is impressive stuff. And uh, let me get this shot here. Yeah. yeah so technology that. is changing everything. Now I get rifle performance on a, on a crossbow. Here live in Auburn, Alabama for today's huge game between the University of Alabama and Auburn University. There's so much on the line, obviously, for, for both schools. Alabama still hanging on to the hopes of a national championship. Auburn would love nothing more than to play spoiler <laughs> they right would. here. They would love on to Auburn's be campus. state champions. Yes. CBS correspondent Joel Brown joins us live from Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral this morning. Joel, what is the latest as far as the weather concerns down there? Well, I tell you, at this point... We're now joined by attorney Charles Savaggio, who's representing the man who was arrested. You saw him in that video. Good morning, Charles. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for joining us. A very uh, controversial story that's making the headlines these days. When we see video like that, it does give us all a reaction. What was your reaction when you first saw that and as you continue to watch that video? Well, as an attorney, I saw injustice. I mean, it, the guy clearly had his hands up. Um, I, at that point, he should have been arrested, I, I think, very easily, and uh, the, what ensued should never have happened. We had a blast. Thank you, Brian Wallace. Absolutely. Brian Wallace, Salvation Army, he helped us set this up, and we did. We, we enjoy these events where we can meet people, meet fans, meet viewers. This one was just so enjoyable. We knew it was for a great cause, and there's precious Gracie, oh, Brooke's baby. Of course, Brooke was there as so well. Cute. The whole wake-up crew, and getting to meet viewers, and just the encouragement we received from them saying, you know what, I start my day with you. Thank you so much for just mm -hmm. getting the day going on the right way. We love that, and we appreciate it. So uh, we'll let you guys know for future opportunities. Come out and say hey, because we love saying hey to you. Absolutely. Cleanup is a, is a big part of this process, and there's so much to clean up. I'm here at just one of thousands of piles like this throughout the area where some people have been able to kind of gather. This is some sort of siding, roofing of some building in downtown. Aluminum just torn off roofs as the twister came through on Wednesday. These piles are all over. Right over here to the left of me is some county crews trying to clean up the pile one pile at a time because there is so much much damage to clean up, but not just damage. As we've been talking about all morning, people's lives have been impacted. Injuries associated with the actual storm system. Welcome back into Wake Up. We're talking about a topic that many people have a strong opinion about, but often feel awkward discussing with others. Bad breath. Yes. Yes. Dr. <laughs> Harold Katz with TheraBreath joins us now to discuss this smelly topic. And I just to establish things, let me get a of those minty sprays there so <laughs> I don't feel awkward. Ooh, that's spicy. All yes. Right. Are there misconceptions about what causes bad breath? What is actually behind it? Well, it, it's they can scrub this launch by at least 7.30 local time. They may still have a shot at launching Atlantis tomorrow. Brooke, Steve. Joe, a lot of talk has been made about the significance, what this represents, the historic nature of this. And you, you even said in your story, hundreds of thousands, maybe a million. What is that atmosphere like? The people you've seen, the crowds, what is it like for the people that are there to watch history? It's bittersweet for a lot of folks who have been watching these launches for the last 30 years or so. Well, some dogs know how to sit, stay, fetch, roll over, do other things. But then there's Norman. Just wait until you see his trick. The precious pooch from Georgia is getting a lot of attention this morning for his scooter skills. Norman, scoot. And we took him That's for a ride and he didn't get off. He just liked it up there. Good scoot, Norm. Look at his cute little bow. Is that really a dog or is that a person in a costume? No, that is a precious uh, little pooch. Kaylee and I are convinced it's someone in, in a dog costume. You're There's no way. You're absolutely wrong. That is a precious pooch. Look at Norman. Look at him. Did you see him kick his little leg? You know oh, what? Nose. Okay. Look at Slow mo. Okay, Return of the Jedi, Ewoks. Anyone with me? Yeah. No. Ewok, right yeah. there. Yeah, that's a precious pooch. <laughs> A costume. <laughs> Fantastic video for sure. I'm convinced it's it. a person in a costume, but it's still impressive You'd nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be wrong. You're right. Real dog. I think shark cage diving would be something that would just kind of get give me an adrenaline rush. Wow. There yeah. you go. You heard it here first. Thank you so much, Kim. And Thank you. Over to someone now who has an identical suit, Rick Jackson. I do. I was just <laughs> sitting here thinking about that. Thank you. <laughs> and now, Deck Tuesday with David Powell. Today we're conducting a tech war.
where the three most popular tablet options will face off to let you know which one might be the best for you. you know, this dominates the marketplace, and this is the one that everyone tends to have, and it is incredibly user-friendly. And you are looking live closely as history is being made here. This is NASA TV. How and there it is, the uh, the front headlights there oh, of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Very day, a very almost sad day, bittersweet, if you will. Look at it coming in, those different angles there. It has now landing here, down and locked. Touchdown. We'll listen to this coverage here. Look at that beautiful sight, a safe Main landing. Touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag shoe. A Mississippi woman got a scare yesterday morning when she looked out her window. Yeah, she didn't see bluebirds and rainbows, mm -hmm. I assure you. No. More like a gator. Seven and a half feet long, to be exact. Local police had a gator trapper rounded up the creature, but not before the homeowner tried to get a better look at her uninvited guest. The trapper says they aren't sure what will be done with the alligator. I'd be like her too. I'd have to get a closer peek too. I mean, yeah. that's just it's, I mean, it's rare enough. You want to be able to prove it to your friends, and then of course, if the news crews show up like this, then you've got lots of proof. But you also obviously don't want your arm chopped off. True. Either. Keep a distance, <laughs> always. <laughs> well, airline flights are delayed for any number of reasons, from weather to mechanical problems. That's right, but you typically don't expect your flight to be delayed because of reptiles on the runway. Car 97, let me know. If more turtles on the runway. Advise when you're ready for to go get them. Turtles on the runway. <laughs> that was air traffic control at the JFK airport calling for crews to clear turtles off the old runway. We couldn't make this up, but we tried. In fact, take a look. About 150 wayward reptiles crawled under the tarmac looking for a beach to lay their eggs. They didn't find it. Departing flights had to be diverted to other runways, and that led to a massive backup. They were trying to catch a flight to the beach. That's uh, what they were trying they, to do. They probably were. Uh, good thing is, no one was injured. There weren't mm -hmm. any, obviously, plane crashes or injured turtles, but just imagine looking out the window. You're on your tarmac trying to get your flight yeah. out of town, and you can't because there's turtles everywhere. Cute That's the visual that makes me turtles. chuckle. I mean, it does. Because no one was injured, we, we can, can chuckle about this. Acceptably story chuckle. Yep. Oh, I can, can confirm. Right we can now. smell it just drifting down from around the stadium. <laughs> oh, so much yes. barbecue, so much fun out here. And again, Kelly touched on a minute ago, but the weather is mm -hmm. always something people are concerned about. But this is a perfect day for football. It, yes. It's perfect. We will see a little peak of sunshine here and there, but it's cloudy. Well, this is obviously a great ending to 30 years. We've had the no unfortunate year, tragedies. Touchdown. January of 86 with Space Shuttle Challenger. Of course, we know 73 seconds into that liftoff, like it uh, unfortunately exploded, taking the lives of Krista McAuliffe and the rest of that crew. Then again in 2003, uh, Columbia, uh, upon re-entry, unfortunately uh, had a fateful ending with that Space Shuttle after some foam had damaged some of the thermal protection. But we are seeing a successful ending to a 30-year program. So we're here on Iron Bowl <laughs> Saturday. Yep. Plenty of Auburn fans, plenty Alabama. of Bama fans. Of course, that would make sense. We've had a cluster of LSU fans Strange. right in the middle of this madness. And uh, and what do we have here? <laughs> and some impressive meat not here. Not a pig. It's not a pig. No, you may be able to tell by the shape that that is, yeah, that that's an elephant, my yes, friend. Yes, it is. Randy joins us now to kind of explain <laughs> what this is all about, why you guys are here, and what you're hoping for. Well, as you see this, you see the devastation, you see the lives that are impacted. Oh. You just want to get involved and help. And there are so many ways that people can help. The uh, local EMA is right now in a situation where they're organizing all those efforts and we'll continue to keep that information delivered to the viewers to know exactly how you can help. But it's having that heart, having that thought for your fellow man that are going through difficult situations now. And again, it is, it is wonderful to see in Alabama, specifically right now in Coleman County, that heart that is obvious, that compassion that is being shown in helping and doing everything possible to assist in times like this. Yeah. This will happen at 11 a.m. at the BJCC Arena Club. Count on CBS 42 to bring you those details in tonight's newscast. So incredible. Music groups, different talent, mm -hmm. everyday people from it's Alabama, from other help. parts of the country, from other parts of the world, doing their Showing part their support to show awesome. their support mm -hmm. and help. And it is just amazing how it's brought so many people together across racial lines, all ethnic barriers dropped. Helping everyone. Just like Alabama said in the song, Angels Among Us. That's right. I go. love that song. Good stuff. Well, that's our show. Tomorrow on Wake Up, can't place a name with a face, trouble with numbers and dates. Find out why the secret to improved memory may lie in the way you train your brain. I need to pay attention to that. <laughs> and we need them to function properly, but you can get too much of a good thing. We'll talk about how to count calories correctly.
And up next on the early show, residents of a Cajun country, towns in the path of Mississippi River floodwaters shed to higher ground. And first, Huckabee, now Trump, who is likely Republican candidate to face off against President Obama in 2012. Those stories and more next on the early show. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.